Hey YouTube, how's it going? And welcome to tutorial number 47. And this is the final tutorial in the series. So if you are watching this video, then congratulations, you made it. You're now at the intermediate stage in HTML. So you finally know how to do pretty much everything there is to do in HTML and CSS. And what we can do now is uh, you're ready to start moving on to some sort of client-side scripting like JavaScript and we'll do some server-side scripting tutorials like PHP later on so uh, you know thank you guys for for sticking through with all the tutorials and now in this tutorial we can finally put our website live on the internet and the first thing you obviously want to do to get started with that is you're gonna have to purchase some purchase some shared hosting so you just need to go ahead and google um, a shared hosting company in your area so uh, for me I already actually have my um, shared hosting company and the company that I use is called Afrihost but go ahead and just google web hosting in and wherever you guys are if you're in America go ahead and you know look for someone there I think uh, if you're in the states you can use someone like HostGator or GoDaddy or something like that those are all pretty good webs web hosts uh, but for me I wanna pay uh, I wanna work with guys here in South Africa you know so that at least I can talk to them on the phone one-on-one -on -one without paying lots of charges and that kind of thing so the company that I work with is AfriHost and just because they're actually like one of the best in SA so that's why I work with them and what, what you want to do is once you go onto your web hosts um, sites you're just going to want to look for their hosting packages so AfriHost has entry-level hosting over here that's cheap hosting that's exactly what we need for now because we're just beginners or you're just beginning so go ahead and look under shared hosting uh, so down here they've got uh, this is their cheapest package nine rand a month and you get unlimited traffic and everything's set up for free you get quite a bit of storage a few email accounts and you don't even have to worry about SQL databases because you guys don't know how to use those yet I didn't show you um, uh, so we can go ahead and you see you can use PHP uh, so yeah basically this isn't the greatest package in the world but you know if you're just starting out and you just want like a little website or a place to show all your friends um, your website and stuff like that and you just want to put it live go ahead and buy a cheap package like that that's fine uh, so we can go ahead and click sign up over there and now what they're gonna do is they're gonna ask us for quite a few details so right now they're just telling me how much it's gonna cost we can move over to the next step and then they'll ask you to like um, if you're a new client you probably have to sign up and give them your details if you're an existing client like I'm an existing client so I can actually just quickly uh, log in so I'm just gonna log in and I'll be right back okay so I'm now logged in and then obviously the next step is domain details so I just have to tell them what domain I want to buy and they'll check if it's available for me so I've actually already bought this this domain uh, I bought it the other day so tech5.com uh, and now it's checking to see if the domain is taken or not and it's actually gonna come back taken because like I said I already bought this domain so there we go it's taken uh, so you'd have to look for one that's not taken and it actually said tech5.co.za is open so there we go congratulations that's open and then we could uh, proceed to the final step which is the payment details but I'm not gonna click that button because then you guys will see my banking details and uh, you probably don't need to do that so let's just go ahead and leave that alone um, but like I said I've actually already bought tech5.com uh, so dot com uh, so if you go over to www tech5 oh wait I think I bought dot org not dot com cool okay so I bought dot org 
and here we have Afrihost's little splash page with the, which they've designed, which just says uh, it's been registered on behalf of a client, blah blah blah. Okay, so what we can do now is if you actually signed up for all this stuff, they probably emailed you uh, some login details. So I've got my stuff set up in Chrome over here. Okay, so I took a look at my details and I logged into my client zone, which is something you guys would obviously have to do. And just uh, so you know, your client zone would obviously look different. This is just the one that Afrihost made, so that's why it looks like this, um, just because they made it. So yours might look different. But at some point, you're going to have to just log into something called a C panel. Now, the, your your web host or your hosting company or shared hosting company probably already sent you uh, the username and password for your cPanel uh, in your email so you might not have even had access to a fancy um, what do you call this client zone that Afrihost offers uh, you might not have access to that you might just get a username and password that logs you straight into something called a cPanel and this cPanel is going to be the same uh, pretty much whatever web host you're using if they use cPanel it's going to look like this so you'll be able to follow along quite well and what we can do now is just uh, it says welcome new user blah 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 I'm just gonna say uh, no thanks I'm fine and now we can we've got access to our cPanel and we can actually upload a file onto our web page. So let's go ahead and I've already uh, coded a website over here and this website just says oh yeah I'm live on the internet baby so let's upload that file and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my file manager and you want to go to your public FTP routes that's pretty much where if someone goes to your website that's the page they're going to want to see uh, so go to your public uh, HTML and as you can see there's already an index page there at the moment and that index page is what we saw in Firefox just now which is this page here which says uh, Tech5 has been registered on behalf of a client so let's go ahead and delete that so go ahead and just delete it yes I'm sure I want to delete it and now it's gone so when I go back to Firefox and I actually refresh this you can see we've now lost that page it's gone and we're now at um, the index of so we're in our, we're in our file uh, and we can go into the CGI bin which uh, if you take a look here there's a folder called CGI bin so we know that this is in fact our file that we have to upload our website into and I'm just going to go ahead and just click this upload button and I'll choose a file okay cool let me look here um, tutorial no wrong folder go to where was that file desktop tutorial code and tutorial 47 cool index.html Cool, so now our page, our little file has been uploaded. If you can see in the bottom corner, there we go, just put that in there. Cool, so that's up, and uh, we can actually just go back here. And if we refresh, we should see our page over here now. Hmm. Okay, uh, under public.html. Okay, so there we've got our index.html text file and because we are got this page open in Firefox www.tech5.org we go ahead and refresh this now we get our page that says oh yeah I am live on the internet baby so there we go guys congratulations if you've written and styled your first website and you've uploaded it now then congratulations uh, you know I'm glad I've helped you and just keep watching for the next few tutorials where I'll be showing you guys how to use JavaScript and then after that I'll move on to something like PHP.
So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. But don't forget to check out my forum. Don't forget to check out my website. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe, obviously, because that's the most important part. So uh, I'll see you guys next time.